On today's episode, we're featuring a great listing of the week. This one is from a home in Waldport on Edgewater Drive. So we'll give you all the details and share some pictures with you about this home. And we'll finish today's episode with a listener question from Bill, who is wondering about buying and selling a home at the same time. First time going through that experience, what do you need to know? It can be a little bit difficult the first time through. So we're going to talk about some easy tips and steps for navigating that process. All that's ahead on today's edition of Keeping It Real Estate. Welcome to Keeping It Real Estate with Colleen Benson and the Benson Broker Group with Keller Williams. This is your go-to source for insights, expert guidance, and tips on making your real estate experience stress-free. Colleen, it is great to be with you once again. I'm excited for another listing of the week and getting to scroll through some pictures with you and talk about this great home for sale and then helping Bill out with his question in a few moments as well. Awesome. I, I hope life's treating you well. What's going on in your world? Life's good. I mean, it was really hard to pick a listing of the week. We've had so many, and it seems to be that a lot of sellers coming from the Monmouth Independence Dallas area, which is really great. Their, our homes are selling quickly. Mm -hmm. We've just had a, a lot of inventory in that part of town, um, as well as our coastal. So in picking a listing of the week, I decided to go with a, a more of a luxury price range coastal property that we just put on the market um, just to showcase the beauty of um, you know, what a million dollars can buy you if that's the budget you have sure. and are looking for a space like this. And so with no further ado, I'd love to talk about this house. Dive on in. Let's do it. Okay. The price is 997, 997,000. This is a one level custom built home, uh, 1794 square feet. So it's not an overly large home, but it's got some land and some outbuildings that have, you know, allow room for all your toys. So, you know, we've been talking Walter a little bit about downsizing and retirement style. Yeah. This is not um, the house for that. <laughs> well, it's not, it, it's not necessarily a downsizing house per se. However, if you're moving from the city, you've raised your kids, whatever, you're selling a 3,500 square foot home and you want to be able to play and have a place for your ATVs, your four wheelers, your yeah. RV. Um, this might be because I mean, most of the acreage is trees. Yeah. So, you, but you have that you have that land. Um, it's actually it's on two point three acres. It's very close to the ocean. You don't quite have that ocean view, but very easy to just go straight down the road and there you are at the beach. Yeah, you're close. So That's a little amazing. bit about isn't it cool? Yeah, like it. It's like all of my realtors are like, if I was to buy something this at the coast that this would be it yeah you know um luxurious custom home it's comfortable private living experience um it's got rv parking and a 2200 square foot shop so you've got less square footage in the house than you do in the shop yeah that shop looks some great people, yeah it is very favorable right next to the beach it's got uh three bedrooms two and a half baths single level as i said wide open spaces um, as you enter, there's like covered ceilings and the living space, open kitchen, has bamboo flooring, custom cabinets, Corian countertops. I just think this house is so cool. Um, this requires a private tour. So if you're interested in coming over to the coast and looking at this, um, this is listed and showcased by one of my best realtors on the team. But I say that about them all because they're all really good. But this is uh, listed and showcased by Matt Stark. He's one of my expertise agents at the coast. And um, so, you know, we've done a lot of exceptional marketing on this property as far as the drone video and there's a link to that on our youtube as well um so you can kind of come in and see the ocean line and as you enter the house so um, if you have any questions give me a call if this is something that you say hey this would really fit our needs moving out of the city over to the coast being able to retire and have our toys we can talk about that selling buying process as well with this yeah the uh the outside of the home really sells it i mean it's just uh it's just on a gorgeous piece of land the house is just very attractive from the outside and then that workshop just gives you so much flexibility and it's it's not just a big garage but then there's like an additional room that's got workshop area and it looks like it's got uh you know you've got sinks and um, other things out there that you can just get into all sorts of different projects no matter kind of what your what your flavor is whether you're building tables <laughs> or just need a place to work on fun projects with grandkids 
grandkids or whatever the case exactly. may be. Exactly. All the things neat. to do with yourself when you retire and don't know what to do with yourself, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. You can let your imagination run wild. Yeah. And uh, you could even go on your own little hikes through your property, I think, through uh, through some of that space. So just looking at some of these pictures, it's just uh, looks like a nice place to go for a walk as you're heading down to the beach. You could even work and build your own little trail through your property before you get to the there beach. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as creative as you want to get. I think the neat thing about this one too, Colleen, is that you're at the beach. I mean, oh, yeah. like you said, you're a couple of blocks from the beach, but it's not a beach house. So you're getting that style of home that's, I don't know if normal is the right word to use, but you're getting a normal house and a normal piece of land and a, a normal home, but steps away from the beach. Yeah. So you're not having to compromise on what you would have to sometimes compromise for an, an ocean house, right? Well, um, it's, you kind of have best of both worlds. And you at. don't have the taxes that you do oceanfront. So ah, low taxes. Um, taxes are set. Insurance differences too, I would think. Yeah, insurance maybe? differences, definitely. You're not um, flood yeah. zone or tsunami zone. At least I don't think. Yeah, I probably have to cool. double check that. But um, I don't see I, I don't see that you are on this one. Okay, yeah, double check that, and I'm I'm just going to show for our YouTube viewers the uh, map view of where you are in the Waldport area. So that's Edgewater Drive there, and just zooming out a little bit, you can see that you're pretty close, uh, just up the road from uh, down 101 to get to actual you know the town of Waldport, and you've got uh, Tillicum down to the south, and Yashots, right? I got that right, Yahots. Colleen. Yashots. Well, Yahots. everybody oh, says it right. differently, but I say Yahots. Okay, but I don't know. Yahots. I think that's right. I don't know where I got the S. <laughs> from yeah yeah hots um and i love cape perpetua that's a just a wonderful area uh, around that location we've done some hiking in there before so you're in a great spot not too far up from newport and uh really easy to get back into the interior um kind of what through route 34 there you can get over to corvallis and some areas so yep. location wise you're in a good spot there eugene not airport straight all. across yeah yeah, fantastic. So check this one out. We will link to this property in the description of today's show. So whether you're watching with us on YouTube and you've seen all these details so far, or if you are uh, just listening to the episode, hopefully we gave you enough audio details to be intrigued. But again, just check the description of the show on whatever app you're using to watch or listen, and you can find a link directly to this property and go check it out on BensonBrokerGroup.com. This is at 875 Southwest Edgewater Drive in Waldport. Thanks for the details, Colleen, on that yeah. home. And we won't end the episode quite yet. We actually want to squeeze in a listener question to wrap things up today. Oh, okay. And so this one comes to us from Bill. Let me grab the question here. Um, here, Bill has a great question. It says, uh, first time seller here, and I don't really understand the process of buying and selling a property at the same time. This will be the first time I've done it. So can you explain the process? Oh, I love this. So on our team, our agents have become experts at helping sellers who are also buyers, right? And when you're a seller and you're a buyer, we, mm -hmm. as an agent, as your hired agent, we will represent you uh, on the listing side, represent you as the seller. And then also we're representing you on the buy side is how we describe it. We're going to represent you as a buyer purchasing a property. We're going to start mm. with your listing. We're going to determine the value and talk to you about pricing and timeline. Of course, that's where we start. And then we're gonna go right into what you're looking for and 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 why and where it is. And so we're gonna gain a lot of information all at once because most people say, well, I don't wanna sell unless I find the perfect house to buy. So we kind of have to reverse it and be like, let's start with what you're looking for to buy. And the price range might be determined by what you're going to sell for if you're going to roll the proceeds of your sale into your purchase, which most people do. And luckily, if you have a 20% down payment and a little left over for um, extra furniture or remodeling or all the things you want to do, paying off some credit cards, those kind of things, we can help talk about that too, debt consolidation through the process of selling one house and buying another. And for a lot of people, we're putting them in a better financial situation because they've paid off, maybe they paid off the college loan or a credit card or two or a car, and then they're moving into a payment that better suits them, puts them in the house they want, and eliminates some of that extra debt for them. And so that could be a financial conversation we help you through as well. But we're going to put you in touch with the lenders, make sure that you're qualified to purchase, because the last thing we want to do is, is sell your home and then you are not able to buy and you're and it, you're ending up renting. So we're not going to sell your home 
out from under you. We're going to make sure the process is completely approved for the whole transaction. And then we're going to protect you with a seller contingency and a buyer contingency, which is something I could probably better explain in person, but it's just our opportunity to give you that extra protection so that it's seamless. The last thing we want for you is to be homeless. And so we want to be able to sell your home, help you buy. And it's, it's kind of a little bit of a roller coaster. There's a lot of up and downs, but we do our best to make it as seamless for you as possible. One time, you're, so you're moving one time, give you a couple extra days in the house you're selling before you move into the house you're buying or whatever you need to get those boxes packed, movers in, appliances, um, you know, utilities set up on the other end so you can move from one house to the next and uh, be very happy in your new house. So it's a little bit complicated, but we can work you through it and help you get there. We help a lot of families with this. Yeah, it's uh, it's not uncommon, Bill. So if anything else, that's just sometimes knowing that lots of other people go through this is uh, soulless enough. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Just understand that you won't be alone in going through that process and that there are a lot of different moving parts that you can use to your advantage. It's not it's not a bad thing that there's lots of different ways that you can kind of slice this cake and, and make Absolutely. it Absolutely. And one thing... I might like us to also mention, Walter, yeah. is sometimes um, we've seen this a lot of times where somebody will walk through an open house and be like, I love this house, write it up. Oh, and can you sell my house? <laughs> and um, what I just like to put out there is like, it takes, it, it takes skill, it takes experience to help navigate through this and make it so that it's a win-win for both your both the property you're selling and the property you're buying. So it'd be really good to make sure you're hiring an agent that is skilled in this and not just like on that emotional, like, oh my gosh, I love this house. I want to buy it. Let's go list my house. Cause not every agent is an expert listing agent. And so you want to make sure that you have that expertise in your corner when you're selling. Yeah, that's a great point, Colleen. And so sounds like the, the biggest piece of advice is sort of start with that sales piece. Uh, even though you're going to buy yeah. and sell, start with the sales conversation so that you kind of, that's going to be what sets a lot of the other expectations that will follow. And then you, you can be in the right position to succeed. So begin there, Bill, or anybody else that's in a similar situation. You can call or text Colleen to get in touch at 503-830-9467, or you can go to BensonBrokerGroup.com, get in touch through the website as well. Lots of great resources for you there to check out and tap into, and we'll put links in the description of today's show to all that great information as well. Colleen, thanks for another great episode. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Thanks for watching and listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. See you next time right back here on Keeping It Real Estate. <laughs>